Welcome back to the Melodic Caring Project. Today, we head back to Nashville, Tennessee to visit with singer-songwriter Courtney Marie Andrews. Courtney shares a few amazing experiences she's had since we last teamed up in Seattle, and she talks about music as hope. She also dedicates and plays a brand new song to our rock stars and healthcare providers around the country. Joining us from Nashville, Tennessee, Seattle's own and Melodic Caring Project alumni artist, Courtney Marie Andrews. Courtney, how are you doing? I'm doing good, good, thank you. Thanks for having me. Oh, so excited to have you. Last time we teamed up was at the Triple Door and you have done so many incredible things since then. How are you feeling? You know, I mean, things have been pretty wild the last few months, but how are you doing? I'm good. I've been trying to make the most of it by writing as much as possible and starting garden and all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good. You know, it's, I think these are strange times, right? So I think some artists are having a hard time kind of knowing what to do with the, the time, but the, how the times are, are impacting them from a creative standpoint. What have you found? Yeah, I mean, I think I've felt it all really during during all of this. Um, I'm, you know, touring is my livelihood. So I'm, of course, very excited to get back on the road. But obviously, you know, there's we have to do what we can to, to be a good part of the community and keep everybody safe. And and so I've just been trying to take this time to do things that I wouldn't have otherwise had time to do um, and just hope that, you know, we can eventually look back on this as like a you know a time we got to to write some more songs and write poetry or do whatever we wanted to do so you know i'm just taking it day by day trying to to make the most of it but you know it's out of our control so yeah yeah, yeah for sure so i think last time we teamed up was probably i don't know what it was maybe three or four years ago and like i say you've done so much since then what has been uh, do you have like a favorite accomplishment or something that, that you're the most proud of that you accomplished in the last three or four years? Yeah, I've done, I've experienced so much in the last few, three or four years. Um, I, I'd i say being on, the, I'll, I'll just go with the most recent memory of something that I'm very proud of, and that's that I made my Grand Ole Opry debut with the late great John Prine um, on New Year's Eve this year. Um, and so that was a, really a monumental moment, but I've had so many in the past few years. I've been so grateful and um, honored to have shared the stage with some amazing people and um, be acknowledged with certain awards. And I'm just very grateful to continue to do it, so. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, what an incredible, memory and accomplishment and, and like you say um timely i mean john prine was such an incredible songwriter and an influencer that you got to share a stage with him is amazing congratulations yeah thank you yeah thank you <laughs> absolutely um what can you tell me you know in the midst of all of this we've been i don't you know Trying to trying to focus on positive and, and pulling the goodness out of it. Can you tell me your strongest memory of a time music really brought people together and created community and you know and empathy and compassion and shared experience when it maybe otherwise wouldn't have happened? Yeah, I feel like um, well, as of recently, the live streams that have happened have been very powerful to witness that it's not stopping any of us from coming together even if it's in a virtual way and even if it's in a way we didn't expect so mm. I think that's been positive um, as far as physical coming together um, we I was a part of the first all-female lineup at Newport Folk Festival last year and I got to share the stage with Dolly Parton and Brady Carlisle and it was all women on stage and it, that was a historical and beautiful moment where we all came together and kind of made history. Um, and then also just honestly, I have this song called Mayor Kindness Remain and getting in a crowd of people singing that song has been so powerful for me and um, in ways that I can't 
even describe. But yeah, music is just uh, it's a it's a very beautiful tool and very beautiful glue. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you for for using your music in that way. You know, as as a tool to bring people together. I think that's incredibly powerful and. And again, man, congratulations. You know, I mean, what a, what another incredible memory and accomplishment in your music career um, with the Newport Folk Festival and making history in that way. It's amazing. Um, Thank you. <laughs> so given that you have made history and that you have connected with icons and, um, and accomplished so much with music, can you wrap music up in one word, what it means to you, the way it's impacted you and affected your life and the direction of your life? Is there one word you could use? Hope um, is a big one. I think for me, you know, when I first got into music, it was, and when I first heard a song, I the, the writers that I listened to made me feel less alone. And, and if I can do that with my own writing, then I'll feel like I accomplished something. So just feeling less alone, feeling a camaraderie, um, hope is probably the word that best suits all those things. Yeah, I think that's really powerful. And I, I think right now, very necessary, you know? Um, yeah, I think there's, absolutely. in this time of, it's interesting how these connections are so easy and yet somehow I think in a way have left us feeling isolated, you know? I, I think, yeah. Um, so hope and bringing people together is incredibly powerful. Um, is there a song that you would like to share and specific dedications um, to, to bring that hope, to offer it to folks? Yeah, this is a song, I'm releasing a record in July called Old Flowers, and this is a song off that called It Must Be Someone Else's Fault. And um, I'd like to dedicate the these to the rock stars because they're all I'm their number one fan is what I should say and I, I want to say hello and send well, well wishes to McKendry from Arizona Lily from Arizona Brody from Georgia the Covenant children from Texas the Holy Name Medical Center in New Jersey and the New Orleans East Hospital just want to say a big shout out and uh, send all my love to those people and to everyone else that is watching. <laughs> Perfect. I can't wait to hear your song.
Thank you for sharing something, you know, so, so fresh and relevant. Appreciate it a ton. Thank you so much. Yeah. And thanks to all that are listening. Please stay well and um, stay safe. And yeah, love you guys. <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining us. If you or someone you know is battling illness and needs support, you are not alone. Sign up today at melodiccaring.org. And a huge thank you to all our first responders and healthcare providers working so hard during this COVID-19 crisis. We appreciate you. I'm Levi Ware. This is the Melodic Caring Project.